Hey guys, welcome back to Emlyn in the Mix. Today we're going to have a quick overview of the iRigs Keys I.O. This is the 25 key version. It's super portable, super light. I've got it set up for you. You can see it on this camera here. Um, we're going to go over all the features. It's really cool actually for a mini portable setup. This is pretty much what you're looking at right here. I've just got the iPad and the 25 iRig Keys I.O. Alright, let's delve into it. Let's have a look at what it can do. You're on Emlyn in the Mix. Alright guys, so first up, I just want to go over all the features here, basically explaining what you get with the iRigs Keys I.O. So it's basically an all-in-one portable studio setup. Um, so here on the left, you've got your mod pitch, uh, you've got your programming, and you've got your octave change. Then you can actually press the alt button here, which will uh, then it will go over to pitch and octave change or programming, depending on where you've got it. Um, you've got your uh, door control, basically record and play buttons there. Play doubles up as stop, you press it twice. Um, you've got your program information, uh, CC media information here. You've got an encoder knob, which I'm guessing uh, doesn't, haven't worked out how to get it going on Sample Tank, uh, which is IK Multimedia's app uh, for this. But you've got this encoder here, which uh, can be programmed um, to actually look through your different presets. Uh, in sample tank, I believe that works. Then you've got uh, one, two, three, four knobs which can be assigned to different uh, MIDI signals uh, such as cutoff, resonance, LFO, etc. Um, then you've got eight velocity touch sensitive pads which are really cool and they change color depending on how hard you hit them. All right, so let's have a look around at the back of the unit. Um, so you've got your microphone input here with your 48 volt uh, selection for phantom power. You've got gain control here. You've got your monitor and master out headphones. And then you've got this MIDI to lightning bolt cable which I've got connected to the iPad. Uh, but it also comes with a MIDI to USB cable which is very nice. Then you've got your DC power input. Now the unit didn't come with any DC power plug but you could get one if you like. This is happily operating off four uh, AA batteries so it makes it super portable uh, then you got your on and off switch there and USB power if you got it plugged into a computer so now let's talk about what this is actually named after so I rig keys in and out keys is a pretty important word because that's what we're going to be looking at the keys on this thing I'll just put my iPad around there uh, so let's have a listen here <laughs> So as you can see, it has a really nice synth uh, action. The keyboard is actually really high quality and the fact that they got it in such a tiny body is really impressive. This is one of the most compact 25 key MIDI controllers I've ever seen uh, with full size synth bed key action like that. If I compare it for example with my Nord Wave over here which is a $3,000 synthesizer, the keyboard is nice and it has a very nice synth action, but believe it or not, I believe these keys are even better, like the key bed feels solid. Let's get some polyphonic here. Yeah, so it's a really nice key action actually, very impressive and that's what it's all about. I mean, you want to have a portable studio that you can take with you anywhere and this is what it's all about. Let's have a look at another iPad app here. Uh, I've got the Nlog Pro loaded here as well. Alright, so let's just have a listen to the Nlog Pro on its own. I mean, who wouldn't make music in this environment? You got an iPad, you got a mini, iRigs keys here. This is awesome. You got your speakers set up. I mean, this is basically a dream setup for most. Now, lastly, just to end this video off, I want to quickly show you um, the sample tank because that is the software that is designed to actually work with these iRigs keys uh, IOs interfaces, audio hardware. Sorry. And um, yeah, let's just show you that in action because basically I can show you off the pads here. So if we have a look, we've got sample tank loaded here. All right, let's pull up a drum kit. Boom, drum kit up. Really nice, right? Dirty. 
The, the pads feel really awesome. I know that was a bit loud, me tapping away, but that pads actually feel really high quality. They're miniature, they're kind of small, but they feel really good. Uh, last but not least, we'll just go through Sample Tank, if you haven't seen it before, is by IK Multimedia, the same guys that have produced this hardware here. And it's really high quality, like has some really awesome sounds. I'm gonna be doing a review on the Sample Tank Max 4, which is like the maximum biggest library you can get of samples for Sample Tank on the Mac, I'll show you in another video. Uh, but if we just pull up, what else have we got here? Like uh, a synth, here we go. keys I mean if you're a player that really needs like five or six octaves then you can always go for the 49 key version uh, but for now 25 keys super portable this is all you need for your studio these days and you can basically send MIDI to the iPad and back just via this cable it's freaking amazing so if you enjoy GarageBand for example you could just pull out GarageBand and essentially it should work one thing I did want to mention uh, just before we end the video is I did download this application here called MIDI wrench uh, which you can see here on my screen um, that just gives me I can see my MIDI CC data going back and forth from the keyboard here anyway I hope you've enjoyed the video this has been the IREX key IO just a quick overview of this amazing compact piece of hardware it's a tiny little MIDI controller but you can fit a lot of the small packages very awesome, good work by RK Multimedia. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, and leave a comment in the comment section below. Thanks so much for joining me, guys, and until next time, peace out. Boom, boom.